Hey guys, Brett and I, Millimeter USA here. And we wanted to do a comparison video. This video has actually been requested several times and we just haven't gotten to it. This is gonna be the SR9C versus the Glock 26 Gen 4. Both of them obviously in nine millimeter. We wanted to talk about some of the similarities and some of the differences. There is quite a bit that's similar between the two nine millimeter pistols. Both of them come stock with the uh, 10 round magazines. Um, and then they both also come with the capability of sticking 17 round magazines into them for an extra magazine or a backup magazine or just a spare magazine. So you got 17 rounds. The advantage to the Ruger over the Glock is uh, with the Glock, of course, the magazine just hangs out by itself and the Ruger has the extension of the grip piece that comes here at the bottom of the magazine. So it gives you a better full size grip when you actually stick this magazine with this extension piece into the Ruger SR9C. Then it becomes very similar to a full size Ruger SR9. Yeah, because it'll have the full size Ruger SR9 grip then. Now one thing that is an advantage for the Glock, definitely you guys, is all the magazine capabilities that you have with the Glock 26, you know, the Glock 19, Glock 17, and also the Glock 18 33 round magazine. That's true. It looks a little funny with it stuck in there, but you're right, it'll fit. Yeah. And it'll function 100%. Um, both weapons are currently loaded because I wanted to uh, top them off, and then I wanted to show you one of the biggest gripes about this pistol is typically the loaded chamber indicator right there. That is what it looks like with the loaded chamber indicator up. The Ruger comes with steel sights or metal sights, and of course the Glock regular um, comes with just the plastic sights. So unless you get it with the night sights or something already on it. Another gripe that a lot of people have about the Ruger is the manual safety on the SR series. Yeah, all of our uh, Ruger SR9 pistols have this manual safety, so the extra safety um, included with the Ruger that you do not find on a Glock or a Walther or a HK or whatever else you may be looking at. So the safety simply clicks on and it takes some effort to get it on and off. It's very positive. Right here. So of all the Ruger SR9 series pistols I've had, I've never accidentally put the safety on and I typically um, use them with just the safety off and I don't click it off, it's just already off. And it's ambidextrous, it's on both sides of the pistol. It's true. So it's over here too. Red right here, red you're dead. And that's what it looks like in safe. Also the magazine release on the SR9C or SR series is ambidextrous. Which is a very nice feature for those of you that are lefties. Nice. Okay, so both these pistols have been in my collection for years now. Yep. Um, both of them have been flawless during the uh, entire time I've owned them. So I don't anticipate any reliability issues here today. We are going to run Freedom Munitions. 115 grain. All right, guys, that's a basic overview of both pistols. We're going to shoot them next. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, the Ruger SR9C. I haven't shot this since last summer. Is that right? Yeah, I believe so. It's been about 10 months. It's about time I shoot the thing. So that's the regular 10 rounder. Here's the 17. There's the extension on the grip right there. Looks really nice. Gives you a full grip, no doubt. I like the Ruger SR9 series, so it's little doubt that I'd like the SR9C also. Feels just like it when you got the extra grip on there. It's a fast shooting, very accurate pistol. I like the trigger on it. Um, I've heard some people are having issues with them once they get them past a couple thousand rounds. That's not been my experience, but uh, they may not be at the 2,000 round mark yet, so I'll be watching for that. But as far as I know, every one of them that we have has been very reliable. Yep. All right, I'm gonna go get that Glock 26 and shoot it, and then we'll give you some final thoughts on both pistols. All right, guys, my Glock 26 Gen 4. 
Let's go ahead and shoot it a little bit, see how it feels. That's a 10 rounder. Here's the 17 rounder. And there's what it looks like sticking out of the pistol. So that gives you your different look. Haven't had any issues with them feeding though. It may not look pretty, but I have never had an issue with them feeding the larger magazines. Hundred percent reliable. I like this little Glock. Um, th this 26 was my first 26. I waited till the Gen 4 came out. I like the FDE, and uh, it's been damn near 100 percent the whole time I've owned it. So this was my preference over the 43 when the first uh, when the first 43 started coming out. I know we've since changed our mind and we kind of like the 43 now. But if I had to pick between the two, I'm still leaning this way. And there's the 43. All right, guys, let's go back to the table. I'll give you my final thoughts on the pistols. The Glock 26 on your left, the Ruger SR9C on your right. And how they compare? And this is completely uh, objective. It's my opinion on the two handguns. Obviously, you guys may feel completely different about it, but this is my take on it. Besides the price difference, which the Glock is about $120 more, roughly. Yeah, so basically the Glock 26 is around $549 in our area, and the Ruger SR9C or SR9 full size is $420. That, that's about right. So besides that obvious price difference, if price is a leading indicator and you're only able to purchase a gun that costs around $400, I think the Ruger SR9C is an excellent choice. With our experience with the, what, four or five of them that Four we or five we've owned. that we owned and half owned. It's a great gun for the money, and matter of fact, it's one of our picks for um, a budget pistol. Anyway, yeah, the Glock uh, 26. If you can step up to the 530, 550 dollar range, I think it's the better gun overall. I think it has the better track record overall. People have put thousands and thousands of rounds through Glock 26, Glock 19s, Glock 22s, etc, etc. And including yourself. Including myself. And I know that they just keep going and going and going. The SR9, as far as the longevity, if you're going to buy a pistol and you're going to shoot it on a regular basis, put a lot of rounds to it. I'm talking about anywhere between two to 5,000 rounds a summer. If you're going to shoot your gun a lot, I would lean towards the Glock. If you're price oriented and you're trying to save as many dollars as you can, but you want a reliable gun for home defense that you're going to go out and practice with two or three times a summer, and you're going to put three to 500 rounds a summer through your gun, I think this gun is every bit as good. Even though it is more safety feature loaded. Well, some people out there want, especially new owners, right, guys? The people that have only had maybe one gun before or maybe two or maybe you're a new gun owner altogether and you want a handgun with that extra safety, that manual safety that you actually have to sweep off, then, then this is a good choice for you, in my opinion. Because once you sweep it off, which is what I keep it that way all the time, once you sweep it off, it doesn't come on accidentally. Yeah. We, we've never had that happen with any of them. But if you want to load it and then sweep the safety on because you want that safety on there, you're not just happy with having the built-in safeties into the gun itself, you want to actually have to push or pull or sweep the safety on or off, then this is an excellent choice. Don't you think so? Yeah. yeah. What else do we want to say? Um, I like it that the... Uh, I like it that the Ruger extends the grip down here. It makes it much more comfortable to shoot when you've got the full-size magazine in, in which case this gun almost fits the exact build that the full SR9 does. So why are you buying a full SR9 when you can have the SR9C and have it fit both, uh, you know, criteria for you? Yeah, because mm. you can use it as a CCW with a standard 10-rounder and then a home defense pistol with a full-size 17-rounder. I agree. I agree completely. So I think this looks a little bit more finished. It's a little bit more comfortable over here as opposed to what the what the Glock looks like over here. But um, you can buy um, those, I don't even remember what they're called, but they basically fill in the gap here and they're made by some company. I don't remember the name, you guys, but they just fill in this gap right here and they lock in very similar to how this does. 
Okay. I'm not real familiar with that. Neither am I. No. Okay. Um, but other than I that, know there. for overall quality and longevity, I think it has to go to the Glock. For ergonomics, I think they're both very ergonomic. I think the Glock is a little bit simpler, um, but I think they both fit well in the hand. They both shoot very well. They both handle recoil impulse pretty pretty close to the same. This may be a little bit sharper um, with recoil impulse, which is kind of surprising because it is a little bit heavier. Yeah. Um, as far as trigger, all of my SR9s have excellent triggers on them. I've heard horror stories that you can get SR9s that don't have a very good trigger on them. Um, so check out what you're looking at. Make sure you, you know, press the trigger a couple of times before you buy it. I mean, I tell people, check it out, you know, pull the trigger 10, 12, 15 times. If a guy over the counter is gonna give you a hard time about it, then don't buy the pistol there. So make sure you're getting a trigger that you're happy with. We've already talked about price. I don't think there's anything uh, else left to discuss except for which one is more appealing, uh, you know, to you visually as the buyer? Do you like the looks of the Glock 26 better than the looks of the SR9? Um, you know, I think that's a personal preference, and that's what it boils down to. Which one do you prefer, personally? Because people are going to wonder that. If you want to know what my personal preference is, this is still my favorite small, small handgun of all time. This one right here. Mm. What do you think? Well... <laughs> You know, I've complained for a long time, personally, to Breda Sr., obviously probably not on camera, about the uh, Glock hump. And so I sanded that down on the Glock 26. Yeah. So I like how it feels now better ergonomically in my hand. But for a long time, I've loved the grip and how much slimmer it is on the Ruger SR series. It's just a lot slimmer, and it feels really, really good in hand. So I personally, honestly, probably prefer the SR9C. And because you're a lefty, it, it doesn't hurt any that it has a magazine release on both sides. Exactly. And a safety on both sides if in case you wanted to use it. But uh, you've, you've shot these, these Ruger SR9s very well also for the longest time and now you've got a new full size so yeah we're fans of both pistols obviously uh i don't think you can lose either way you go i guess that's the final uh thought on the pistols guys is they're both really really good if you're going to have the pistols for a long time and put a lot of rounds through them i would go this way yeah but the thing is you know there's been a lot of people that have put a lot of rounds to the ruger sr nines and stuff like that like 10,000 plus rounds i know for a fact one of the other youtubers out there uh the daily shooter Leave a link to his channel in the description box below. He's put a lot of rounds through his Ruger SR9. 10,000 plus, I believe. Really? And it's yeah. running fine? He's had no issues? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good to know. All right, guys. Not sure what you think about the two pistols, but uh, let us know if you want to in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video. And remember, your Second Amendment is worth protecting. And the good thing about a Glock 26 is you can use a little bit of a larger magazine in it if you want to. I love my Glock 26.